Welcome to wonderful Washington. <laughs> Holy Father, it is my great honor and privilege to thank you for this special moment and share heartfelt greetings from the people of God in the Archdiocese of Washington, especially our wonderful students and young adults here at Archbishop Carroll Catholic High School. As a vibrant family of faith, we love and care for one another in so many needed ways, especially as we continue to pray for an end to this global pandemic. Our need for unity has never been greater than it is today. With our new Scholas chapter, we are tremendously grateful that our young people will gain greater insight and experience in truly seeing, respecting, and assisting our sisters and brothers from various cultures, races, ethnicities, nations, religions, and abilities. This deeper understanding allows us to become a church and a people open to genuine dialogue and authentic encounters. We often experience so many forces in our daily lives that seek to separate and divide us. However, each day we aim to demonstrate charity, mercy, hope, and to act in unity and peace as we work together to address community and life issues in a just way for all of God's children. We are attentively listening and grateful for the voices and service of our young people. The church is their home, and they are at the center of our faith community. Our new chapter of Scholas will provide an additional opportunity for our young people to continue to create a new culture of meaningful and long-lasting encounters. Our new Scholas chapter begins to work with interreligious dialogue at Georgetown University, where our young adults will analyze your encyclicals, Holy Father, through the lens of each of, each of their faith traditions. To mark today, Special, this today's special occasion, during this Laudato Si week, I invite Adriana and Darius to join me now in planting a seed that will symbolize the beginning of our growth as a new Scholas chapter here in Washington, D.C. May our new Scholas work in Washington, D.C. bear fruit. Holy Father, the people of this local church pray for you each day. We respect, honor, and love you and ask you to pray for us. God bless you. Querido Santo Padre, sus palabras sobre la cultura del encuentro me han guiado en mi trabajo, especialmente apoyando a, a artistas y creando op oportunidades para compartir su arte. Me siento muy honrada de hablar con usted y participar en escuelas ocurrentes, continuando en la tradición jesuita de diálogo y pluralismo. Le he escrito un poema para usted. En cada persona, en cada intercambio, nos encontramos cara a cara con el Cristo. En cada poema, como en cada oración, encontramos un espíritu, no lejano, sino cercano, que vive entre 
y adentro, en cada uno de nosotros. El arte es una manera de encuentro en donde nos sentimos parte de un cuerpo. Santo Padre, yo sirvo como director de diversidad e inclusión de la Federación Nacional Católica de los Ministerios con Jóvenes Adolescentes. Somos bendecidos con mucha diversidad en este país, un regalo de los inmigrantes y los indígenas de estas tierras. Los jóvenes reconocen los dones que provienen del encuentro con la diversidad y por eso pueden avanzar a nuestras sociedades y nuestra iglesia. A cambio, hemos visto que algunos se enfrenten a esta diversidad con temor, pensando que tener a una persona nueva o diferente en la mesa significa que otra persona pierde su lugar. Es claro, tenemos mucho trabajo por delante, pero recuerdo la sabiduría de mi abuela que decía, siempre hay espacio para uno más en la mesa. Santo Padre, gracias por su apoyo a este nuevo capítulo de escuelas en los Estados Unidos. <música>